The Atlante, A5336, the second unit in Italy's Volcano-class fleet support vessels, has completed several critical sea evaluation phases between March and May 2025 in the Gulf of Naples, advancing steadily toward its final handover to the Italian Navy. Notably, the vessel passed its first sea-going review on March 18, followed by an initial operational sail on March 25. These events formed part of a broader inspection framework led by Ocker's LSS program office in conjunction with Italian naval authorities and industrial partners. Once fully delivered, projected for the end of 2025, the Atlante will be stationed at the naval base in Taranto. It will work alongside its sister ship, Volcano, supporting both national missions and NATO-aligned maritime deployments. A more intensive evaluation phase, the Sea Acceptance Trials, SAT, took place in May, focusing on essential systems including propulsion, navigation controls, communication arrays, and replenishment procedures. These tests serve as a confirmation that Atlante meets all required naval standards before entering full operational service. All technical validation and outfitting are expected to wrap up by July. Constructed by a consortium led by Fincantieri and Leonardo at the Castellamare di Stabia Yard, Atlante is part of a broader bilateral project under Acre involving six LSS units for Italy and France. The ship was launched on May 18, 2024, following the program's lead vessel, ITS Volcano, A5335, which was handed over in March 2021. Designed to provide extensive at-sea logistical support, Atlante can transport and dispense naval diesel, F-76, jet fuel, F-44-JP-5, potable water, ammunition, rations, spare parts, and lubricants, along with space for eight ISO standard containers. The ship includes four refueling stations midship and one aft, enabling multidirectional resupply. Onboard facilities feature repair workshops and a comprehensive medical complex meeting NATO Roll 2 LM standards. This medical unit includes surgery rooms, diagnostics, and accommodation for 17 critical patients. During its testing, the Atlante encountered the iconic training ship Amerigo Vespucci, which was returning from a global voyage that began in July 2023. Interestingly, both ships were built in the same historic shipyard underscoring a century-long naval heritage at Castellamare di Stabia. Italy's LSS initiative joined Acre in 2015. France initially entered as an observer in 2016 before becoming a full member in 2019 after a series of cooperative agreements. France's fleet replenishment program, known as Flotlog, is based on the volcano design, though slightly modified. The first French unit, FS Jacques Chevalier, entered service in November 2024. A second vessel, FS Jacques Stoskopf, was launched in August 2024. France is planning three more LSS units, all expected by 2029. These French ships are being built at Chantiers de l'Atlantique, with bow sections delivered by Fincantieri. Atlante spans 193 meters, displaces between 27,231,000 to tons depending on loadout, and can sail at up to 20 knots. It employs a Codlad propulsion system using MAN diesel engines and Morelli electric motors. The ship can cover 7,000 nautical miles at cruising speed and remain operational at sea for up to 30 days. Standard crew is 167, expandable to 235 for specialized missions. The aviation deck supports two EH-101 helicopters and includes a hangar. Support equipment on board includes stabilized cranes, 30-ton capacity, ribs, and optional CB-90 fast assault boats. It also comes equipped with advanced radar systems, sonar for collision avoidance, and is prepared for electronic warfare upgrades. Control systems are built around Leonardo's CMS, SATIC MK4, and Systema's automation suite. Cargo specs for the Atlante are substantial. 9,000 cubic meters of naval diesel, 4,000 cubic meters of aviation fuel, 800 cubic meters of drinkable water, 220 tons of ammunition, 15 tons of lubricants, 20 tons of spare parts, and 30,000 meal rations. A dedicated medical block covering 800 square meters houses two surgery theaters, x-ray units, labs, dental services, and ICU beds. 
The ship can perform rescue operations and seabed salvage, and also function as a floating command hub. Its design incorporates eco-friendly systems such as diesel-electric propulsion, reduced emissions, and waste management compliant with modern naval environmental standards. The Volcano-class vessels were conceived to replace the aging Stromboli-class tankers. Initial funding came through the 2014 naval law. Volcano's cost increased from 346 million euros to 374.6 million euro due to design changes, and later to 410 million euros for Atlante. Volcano saw action in December 2023, deployed to Egypt for humanitarian missions during the Gaza crisis, returning in February 2024 after providing medical aid. International interest in the design is growing. Algeria has reportedly signed a bilateral agreement to acquire a volcano-type LSS, alongside plans to expand shipbuilding capacity in Anaba. Fincantieri may follow an export model used in deals with Egypt and Indonesia, where Italian Navy units were redirected for foreign sales and then replaced by new domestic builds. When operational, Atlanti will be a key component in Italy's Naval Act Modernization Plan, supporting long-term missions with logistical depth and medical capabilities. It complements other strategic additions like the PPA patrol ships and the LHD Trieste. The Volcano class can supply up to five major naval units simultaneously and is central to Italy's vision of sustained overseas naval presence and allied interoperability under the NATO and EU banners. With sea trials affirming its readiness, Atlante is set to significantly enhance Italy's maritime capabilities and reinforce Europe's collective naval strength.